Hi everyone, Brad here. Welcome to Airstream of Utah. On this Maintenance Monday, I'm going to talk about changing a tire on our travel trailers. Join me. So I've gathered my collection of things, gloves, torque wrench, four-way lug wrench that comes with every Airstream, and this is adjustable too, so that's what I use to take the lug nuts off. My little block of wood and tire chocks. I have seen over the last two days at least five different posts on Airstream Addicts or one of the forums like that about someone messing up their frame because they did an improper jacking procedure. And that's really what I want to talk about today. The manual is somewhat vague and how to change a tire for the Airstream trailers because it doesn't come with its own jack. So you have to have a separate jack to jack this trailer up. If you have a dual axle, I'll show you how to do that momentarily, but right now we're on a single axle. So our base camps, Bambies, Caravals, etc., that have the single axle trailers, here's the basic setup. So if this tire were flat, I'm on the roadside right now, if this tire were flat and I need to change this out, I would put these chocks on the other side of the rig to ensure that it's not going to go anywhere. Again, opposite side of what you're working on is where I would chalk the tires. I would also make sure my front nose jack is down, even though it's hooked to the truck or the tow vehicle. It just gives me a little extra stability. Underneath your trailer, typically behind the wheel, you'll see a little sticker here that says jack. And there's a little arrow pointing to a pad, a square pad. That square pad is where your jack needs to lift the rig from. If you're using a bottle jack, for example, and it has a little thin top part to it, it looks like a bottle. If you don't have that exactly on that pad in the right spot, it can slip off one side or the other, causing a hole in the bottom of your rig. Not ideal. So what's recommended is get you a block of wood, something like this, put this against the rig and put your jack against this. It gives it a little bit more stability Floor jack is the ideal way to raise your rig, but most people don't carry those around with them and most people don't have them at their house. So what I would recommend to all of you is because Airstream doesn't have a jack, is because Airstream doesn't have a jack included. Before you embark upon your first adventure with your Airstream, or if you already have one, do some research right away and find you a jack that you can carry in your rig or carry in your tow vehicle that fits the weight of your trailer and the height. So that's problematic. You think, I got 21 inches roughly right here. So I need a jack that's gonna get me up that tall plus uh, enough to get my wheel off the ground. In your normal travel trailers, the dual axle type and the lower standard looking airstreams, they are a little bit lower, but they still gotta come off the ground quite a bit to get the tires off the ground. What I wanna do, chuck the non-flat side tires put my front stabilizer down. Before I lift the rig, I need to loosen my lug nuts. Once I have loosened the lug nuts, then I can jack the rig up. And I don't need to jack it high, just enough to get the tire off the ground. Can remove my tire, go grab my spare tire, put my spare tire on, tighten the lug nuts down. Do not tighten your lug nuts too tight with this. You need a torque wrench. Right here on the side of your rig, right above your tire, is a sticker here, and it tells you 10 miles, 15 miles, and 25 miles post changing your tire. You need to verify the torque. Many people just say, I'm going to use my four way lug wrench and tighten them as tight as I can get them. Okay, that would be an extremist need. But if you keep doing that over time, the bolt stud will eventually pull out of the hub, and that's you'll lose lug nuts that way. So Always use a torque wrench, always use a torque wrench. So where I'm here under a traditional travel trailer, and I can see the jack sticker here, I can see the jack pad here. What I want you to pay attention to is where your belly pan, the aluminum part, meets the side part, side pan, changes from silver to black. Right in that middle of that is where your frame rail is. So this frame rail is right here, runs all the way down. This happens to be at your step, so it's open, it's easy to see. But this frame rail runs all the way up and down the length of the trailer. And that's where this jack point is pushing against the frame rail. 
So if this is not exactly centered or it's twisted somehow and you don't get right on the frame rail, it could slip off, which is why I say use the little wood block. Let's talk about alternate methods with a dual axle trailer. So many people drive around with what I like to refer to as Lego blocks in their trailer and they use them under the stabilizing jacks, so use them to level your trailer with, but they can also help you in changing your tire with a dual axle. What you would do is build yourself a pyramid. You can use all the Lego blocks. That's a four inch lift kit. So I put this under my tire. I uh, pull forward, so if that back tire were flat, I pull forward to this tire centered on here, and my back axle on that side will be off the ground. And it, you can change your tire that way. And then when you get your tire fixed, you can back right off of it or pull across all of it. Both are perfectly acceptable. One word of caution. If you're using this ramp and you're trying to do it on concrete or asphalt or something like that, and it's kind of slick, as you go to drive, this tire may push these things out of the way. That's all I have for you today on this Maintenance Monday. Should you have any questions about changing your tire or where to jack your rig, give us a call, send us an email, or better yet, stop by. We'd love to show you in person. Have a great day, everyone, and happy adventures.